Hello there, welcome to Creepy Cool. Do you like witches? Do you believe in witches? I think I might have dated a witch a couple of years ago. It was a compromised relationship. I think she gave me an STD magically. Check out my t-shirt. And check out this shop over here. Oh look, I think that looks like my ex-girlfriend. We're actually in Burley in the New Forest. Uh, this was the home of famous witch Sybil Leake. She was a uh, astrologer and witch and psychic. She was quite famous in the 60s. Actually, I'll tell you what, if you go onto YouTube, you can see some footage of her being interviewed by Kreskin. Kind of interesting. She used to walk up and down this street with a black cloak on and her pet jackdaw on her shoulder called Hotfoot Jackson. Probably her witch is familiar. Very interesting. We're actually gonna take a walk to her old house now. She lived up here. Come along. So there we go, that's actually Sybil Leake's house. She used to live there for a long period of time. I think she moved out in the 60s, 70s. Um, but look at some of the details. You've got the dragon on the rooftop, you've got the antlers on the side, the witch symbols, I like that a lot. And there you go, a broomstick, possibly my transport home. Right, so this was, so she lived over there. Yeah. And then she named this shop, she named but the she shop. Her, it wasn't her shop. Her shop was actually the. Her shop was Lord shop. Ah, oh, there we go. Picture. There we go. That's interesting. Oh, there's a picture of her up there. Um, there's some good pictures. Hey, look, there's a picture with. That's her within her shop, just down the road there. Oh yeah, the and, there's, and that Hotfoot Jackson there. That's her, her, her Jackson, yeah. oh, That's very cool. You can get these pictures here can you? Actually, yeah. I might have to get some of them for my house. Yeah. I know her son really well. Actually, Do you? Julia, when he's yeah. still in the area? And he moved to America. She went to Florida in the end and her family oh, I heard, so I heard mixed things, right? I heard, one thing I heard was that she was kind of sort of forced to move. But then other yes, people, yeah, like the landlord <laughs> said, you've got to go. Yeah. Because so, other people said, oh no, no, she went there because she was so famous and she loved it. But actually no, it was kind went, of heartbreaking. Yeah, she went originally. Um, because she was forced to move because her landlord wouldn't renew her lease. Then when she eventually went to America, she became very famous. Yeah, and yeah. that's how it worked. And that's, I guess, how Kreskin, that yeah. American magician, met. Have you seen that clip? It's yeah. bizarre, isn't it? He's, a, he's an old yeah. guy. Yeah, he's an old guy. But I need to get some of these pictures. Okay, this has well. been, this has been um, really, you've been cool. Thank you very oh, much. You're it's a nice, and you, oh, you must get loads of people all the time well, coming. Well, we do, and I, I've researched, I know her family really well, actually, so I've kind of reached, researched her life. I've been here 36 yeah. years, and I've researched her life ever since I've been here, and I've collected all her memorabilia. I've so was she part books. of the Golden Dawn as well? No, that? she was part of the Horsa Coven. Oh, right. The Horsa Coven. So I thought she, she did the back. Golden Dawn. No. She didn't. Oh, that's no, good, because that's kind of a bit sinister, Coven, isn't it? That's, yeah. a, that's like... Um, Alastair Crowley yeah. and um, although she knew Alastair Crowley did she she was quite involved with the, her her little coven was like Dorothy Clutterbuck and yeah I've heard all those sort of people so not all left. Gerald Gardner was were they called involved. like herb witches or something like uh, that they, hedge witches hedge witches hedge, yeah. yeah it's kind of a yeah, nature she was a thing white isn't it witch, which yeah, is a yeah. Witch, yeah. Well, that's very cool that's a minor bird but not a jackdaw no she had oh, a jackdaw which was her familiar but that picture in case you get confused is with her minor what bird. exactly is a familiar a familiar is a, a witch's um, totem animal really. Right, and it's, do they have some sort of power over them, control, or is it just literally just a pet, or uh, do they somehow... No, they do have a connection. Because she sat on, it, yeah. it sat on her shoulder all the way. Yeah, yeah he used to... The jackdaw was actually um, a fledgling brought in by one of the forestry workers, and her son Julian took the fledgling in when they lived over here. And it then became part of the family. It became what they call an imprint. Wow. Because they used to feed it with worms. Oh, right, of course, stuff. yeah. So because that happens, birds become imprints. Oh, they that's then awesome. think you're their mother. Yeah. And um, he then ended up staying with the family all his life. He was called Mr. Hotfoot Jackson because he used to jump on top of the telly and oh, right. feet. So she oh, cool. That's really cool. I like that a lot. So Very nice. Where it comes from? Do you know which house yes, she lived I in? Can, I, is that, well, can you point it out to us so we can... Go film? up the side here. Uh, literally up the side Just of the building? Literally build. up the yeah. side, there's a, there's a forest track, okay? And before you get to the two little pinch parts, right, on the right-hand side is a red brick building set back, which is the old sorting office, which is actually behind the post office, and she, she lived there. Oh, wow, like cool. Her, um, so this is really interesting. We just found out, we believe, now from my research, I heard that this was actually a house that they turned into a museum, but it's not. It's not a house. We found out where her house really is. So we might be the first people to show you where Sybil Leake actually used to live. I think it was down here. So we go up there, do we? Do you reckon? God, this is becoming a little bit Blair Witch now. Am I? Where am I going? Ooh. Is that it? A brick building? Should we keep walking up? 
that'd be great to find this, but I, I don't want to be sort of end up in a kind of abandoned building, stood in the corner with my back to everyone, just like the end of uh, Blair Witch. Is that it? Uh. We think we found Sybil Leake's actual house. Against popular belief that people think it's that shop, that shop there is not, it's not that shop there. Jenny, the owner of the shop, told us. She's actually friends still with the family. I don't know how much of the interview you heard on the mic, but we followed her directions. We're in the forest and that building there is actually Sybil Leake's house. I don't know if you can see it much through the, uh, through the, through the trees. Uh, it's, I mean, it's private property. Should we go in? We're gonna go in. I'm gonna be trespassing on a witch's house. I don't know how much I like this. Okay, let's give it a go, shall we? Let's just get in and get a shot and then get out, because I don't really want to. Oh, I just feel a bit scared doing this. Okay, just be very quick. Go. It's gotta be that, isn't it? We've got to get out, we've got to get out. Yeah, get out, get out, go, 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 go. It's actually someone's private house. Okay, we're back on public property now, so that's okay. But yeah, certainly um, Sybil Leake lived there and she would have walked up and down here into the forest. She was a big fan of the forest, she loved the forest. When she had to leave the forest, being kicked out by her landlord, I mean, that was the most heartbreaking part, not being able to walk up through this. Look at it, it's a wonderful view. Can you imagine living here and walking through there at night? Very nice. Okay, we're outside Lawford's, which used to be the antique shop that Sybil worked in. So we're going to go inside and have a look around. Come with me. Yeah, yeah. it would have been in here. Um, whether she owned it or not, I don't know. But that That's it. No, this is it. Yeah, this is it. So this is in the shop? Yeah. Oh, right. Wow. And does this join to her house? or? I don't know if she lived at the back here. No, she did, yeah. We have found out from or, other people. Did that, you? Yeah. Um, she had a caravan at one time as well. And, and gypsy, she was, kind of. She was in with the gypsies, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah. yeah so. So who lives in that house now, do you know? It's not, it's all part of the shop. Oh, really? Up above it is the postmaster's, but I think that was always the postmaster's because before him it was his father's. Oh, right, so that house connects to the shop. Mm. So have you, have you been into the house? Have you, do you know it? Is it have you, you're aware of the layout or anything like that? Do you know her bedroom, for instance? No, like, no. You don't? It's just a storeroom now. Is the it? Mm. There's no way of seeing it, is there? You can see oh, it. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> We're nerds, basically. We're a couple of nerds <laughs> who do like um, videos on like creepy things like graves and witches and stuff like that and it's oh, just see. Yeah. to be able to come here and say look this is that's actually her house is kind of mind-boggling actually okay. yeah <laughs> well this is part of the old building whether, oh, right. whether she had this fit I don't know so this would have been this is in her house technically possibly wow sir possibly Pretty exciting. I think the people before us converted this into part of the shop amazing and then, um, then there's the storeroom so part of the old house, obviously. This is it. This is inside yeah. her house. This yeah. is amazing. And then down there, you just got the loo. And that goes out to the, to the back of the garden. Because we walk around the back, and you can see from the path that yes. you can see the building. So that's, that would be what we saw the back building. Yeah. We saw. Yeah. Amazing. So here we are inside her house. This is, oh, thank you so much. This You're is welcome. amazing. Can I sense her presence here? Thank you very much. A lot of people do. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. thank you. My name's Alice. What's your name, by the way? Sue. Sue, thank you, Sue. And here we have a witchy horse. Whoa. Thank you for watching. It's been a nice day in Burley. We've got a few exclusives. Thanks for watching another episode of Creepy Call. We're back soon to show you some more weird things in the area.